All right, Timmy and I are here with Andy's truck. Uh, we just pretty much got it all finished up. The truck's been done for a bit. Uh, we just got it back from interior and couldn't be happier with it. It's, uh, you know, we did, <clears throat> we did like, you know, this plaid thing and it just looks so good. Definitely didn't want to make it too loud. So we put huge mufflers on it and uh, they're Dynamax mufflers. And it's really quiet. Like I'm standing right next to it and obviously you can hear me talking. But when you like rev it, it's like crazy. Like it gets really loud, like really loud. So it's kind of a nice, uh, I don't know, like a nice little in-between. It's quiet at idle. When you're cruising down the highway, it's not that loud. But obviously when you want it to be loud, when you're like, you know, revving it out or doing a burnout or something like that, it's uh, it'll make some noise. So obviously this whole video was shot with the thing at, like aired out totally. Um, I'm just gonna put it to ride height and you can get an idea where it sits just driving down the road. So this is ride height. It goes full lock to lock with no rubbing. Um, it, it's awesome. Like it's it's quiet. It's comfortable. It hits the bumps nice. Like it's not it's not all you know super rough. Like a lot of times, like low vehicles, they have bump steer. They steer like crap. You know, they hit bumps and they they're bouncing all over the place. This goes down the road and it's like it's just nice. Like it's a really really good feeling vehicle. The steering's tight. Um, it's just not. It's unlike a lot of other, uh, I don't know, super low trucks or, or, you know, a lot of times, you know, when guys do this stuff, they don't go all out. Like this is on a full chassis um, and that chassis is engineered to work well. The track width is a little bit narrower, so like it's just good. So that's why we can go lock to lock with 22s on it and have no rubbing at all. So it's just perfect. You know, we, we've got all of the good parts and uh, Having all those good parts means it's gonna work well together. The truck's been done for a bit and it just got back from interior. So now it's like ready for Andy to take it, which is exciting because we've been looking at it for a year, right? Or maybe even longer. Two. <laughs> yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. And, uh, and then it went to interior and it ended up taking a little bit longer at interior than we were anticipating. But either way, it came out awesome and we are so psyched to finally give it to Andy and let him start, uh, I don't want to say destroying it, but <laughs> he, will, he will use it because that's how Andy is. But anyways, I'll just let Timmy uh, explain all the stuff. I mean, I mean, it's got a chopping block chassis, Detroit steel 22s front and rear. 6.0 truck motor. Uh, it's got a BTR cam, Whipple 2.3, uh, Holly Terminator 4L80, bulletproof. Good strong, good strong setup. It made 515, 10 pounds, you know, the lower pulley, I guess you'd say, but still blows the tires off of it so it's what Andy wants <laughs> right loud and wild and kill the tires so that's what he's getting yeah it's pretty much exactly what you know what he wanted he wanted a good looking truck like nice paint and nice interior and you know the truck has that the paint is sick the color is great um, as far as like picking colors it's always so difficult to pick colors because you like overthink it and Andy is like the easiest you know person when it comes to doing stuff he's like just do whatever you think so i'm like stressing over 
all these different paint chips and everything. And I'm like, you know, I give him like, he said, oh, I just want it green, but I want it to look kind of old timey, like an older green or something that would be like on this truck. This isn't like a factory color or anything like that. And I literally showed him a whole bunch of paint chips and like in one second, he's like that one, which, you know, I spent a week looking at paint chips and he like picked the color in one second. So I'm, I'm really happy with how it came out. Um, you know, Adam, who doesn't work at the shop anymore, did all the bodywork and paint on this. And uh, I'm just really, really happy with how it came out. He did an awesome job. We miss Adam at the shop for sure. <laughs> yeah, but, um, you know, Timmy did most all the final assembly on this uh, and it just came out great. I mean, everything in here, it's a stock seat. John from JMB um, did the upholstery on it and the carpet and everything and the, the cup holders and it's Dakota digital gauges. This is a factory column that's been modified a little, or factory column and, and wheel. The column was modified a little bit to work with, uh, with what we have, but you know, kind of just painted the inside like a matte black, pretty simple. And just, you know, I mean, these trucks didn't, were, were really, really like bare bones when they were, when they were new. So having like nice door panels and kick panels and everything like that, it's uh, it just makes it, I don't know, a little bit more special. Engine time. Hey, engine. So custom firewall, obviously custom inner fenders and sight shields and stuff like that. Um, is it a 2.3 or a 2.9? Two two it's a 2.3? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's a Whipple, a 2.3 liter Whipple. Um, yeah, six liter truck motor. And Brian Tooley cam. Yeah, it's a respect for the blower. But other than that, it's just stock 6.0, stock block. I don't know, if that, I don't think there was any head work done, but it makes plenty of power. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't need any more. Yeah, totally, totally. But yeah, all this came out so nice. We're very excited to finally give this thing to him. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Literally, we were like about to pull it in the trailer and I said, oh, I better like take a quick video of it because although we've been look we've looked at it and yeah, seen it for so much. I was uh, the other day like trying to go through some pictures to show somebody. I have, like 40 photos of this. Yeah, I couldn't, I like barely could find any pictures from when, you know, from when it was, when we had it at the shop. So I, I guess I just never took a lot of photos of it. I have photos from February last year when, you know, it was my turn, you know, it was bare frame. And we had it at Staggered at Thompson in October. Yep. So from February to October, I was pretty much on it almost every day and painted it, you know, as panels were painted, they were given to me and then they're put on and, you know, we're framed to this and not a very long time. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So I have photos from them that's burst to, it's this, so yep. it's pretty cool. That's awesome. I hope you guys like it. We love it. Yeah, like I was saying, it's like we put big giant mufflers on it and when you're in it and driving, it's not loud. Like, I mean, obviously we're just putting through a parking lot, but I'm not having to like raise my voice to talk and you can go left or it doesn't really matter. Go right. It's weird, like when you, when the truck's sitting there and you push up and down in the back, you're like, oh, this thing has oh, gotta be soft, but yeah. it, it rides awesome. Like it does, it's not bouncy or hoppy. Yeah, when you push it, it'll bounce. So it's like, oh, it's gonna ride like a, you know, a Cadillac, but it doesn't actually ride really good. Yeah, it's pretty tight. The steering's awesome. It is. Rear brakes and race pads. Back there. We went with the race pads. <laughs> Got the carbon rotors. <laughs>
I get two stations. We get like 89, 87, 21, and 105. Hey, what do we got this one? <laughs> yeah, right. It's not Taylor's favorite. Taylor does not like anything that is played on 106.5. <laughs> Turn this crap off. Yeah, he gets very upset. Yeah. Timmy and Matt will, uh, what is that? What do you usually like to put on when he's oh, gone? pinks. We like Pink Floyd. Me and Matt like Pink Floyd. You, called it, not... you called it pinks? No, pigs. That... The song on Pink Floyd sing is pigs. Oh, okay. So we always like, to, me and Matt are like, oh, let's put on pigs. Well, Taylor, uh, Taylor loses his mind. Turns into a grumpy old man because we're playing old man music. Well, it's an old man truck. Yeah. Not really though. Taylor's fruity self doesn't like Pink Floyd. His fruity self. His fruity self. It looks passion fit. <laughs> it's so funny how it doesn't bounce. At like all. You'd, you'd think with how much it moves when you push it up and down, but like the shocks actually work pretty good. Yeah, you have to give them the demonstration of how bouncy it is outside the vehicle. Because inside it is not bouncy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, this thing never made a, a peep until Steve had it. Yeah, ever since you tuned my car. Ever since you, that's the quote. Repair orders. Ever since you touched my car, the brakes cool. <sighs> See if Joe is bathing. Yeah, bathing in his own sweat. He was in a towel earlier. just cruising down the road and we can like talk and not have to raise our voices to talk is like a huge deal I mean loud cars are awesome for about 10 minutes so you they're, gotta drive yeah the they're use. they're fun pulling into a car show or they're fun like at a racetrack watch that thing yeah. but that's it like other than that they suck and it's so much nicer to just have something that is fairly quiet and doesn't make a lot of racket it's not annoying like this you'll be able to just drive this wherever it's not gonna be like I don't know uncomfortable so this whole time we've been talking about how good it rides going down the street but like when it's been in the shop and every time we push on the rear it's like flopsy mopsy like look at watch like the thing bounces around like it's so easy to move but Going down the road, it doesn't have any kind of like weirdness. It's just perfect. So, I don't know. That's that. I never shot an ender to the video. So, uh, anyways, hope you like it. Andy's truck is right now at Syracuse Nationals. He's texted me. Um, he's texted me twice today. And in the, this morning, it got a designer dozen award. And then, look at two cheese pro pick or design award or something like that so anyways i hope you like the truck it's we're so psyched it's like you know it's finished andy's having fun with it and that's like the whole reason we do what we do so hope you like the video if you have any questions put them in the comments and uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button do all the youtube stuff thanks so much later guys